Hello, welcome. In this presentation, I am going to discuss the topic segmentation. And this is the agenda for the presentation. We are going to cover what is segmentation, user's view of a program, logical view of segmentation, segmentation architecture, example of segmentation, sharing of segments, physical memory view using segmentation, translating logical address to physical address using segmentation, advantages and disadvantages of segmentation. Let's get started. Segmentation is a memory management Let's technique. Like paging, segmentation is non-contiguous memory allocation technique. In segmentation, process is not divided blindly into fixed size pages. Rather, the process is divided into modules for better visualization. And a program is just considered as a collection of different segments. A segment is a logical unit, such as main program, procedure, function, method, object, logical variables, stack, symbol, table, and array. Here, just have a look at user's view of a program. Segmentation is a variable sized partitioning scheme. In segmentation, secondary memory and main memory are divided into partitions of unequal size. The size of partitions depend on the length of modules. The partitions of secondary memory are called as segments. And here is the logical view of segmentation. On left side, you can see the user space where there are different uh, uh, parts of a program which are of different sizes and on the right side you can see that uh, there is physical memory space and these segments have been allocated a memory in physical memory space let's talk about the basic components of segmentation architecture uh, there are uh, different parts like segmentation table segmentation table pace register which is stbr segmentation table length register which is stlr the most important uh, uh, part uh, here is segment table and there are certain important points regarding segmentation table a segment table is table that stores the information about each segment of the process it has two columns the first column stores the size or the length of the segment and the second column stores the base address or starting address of the segment in the main memory. Segment table is stored as a separate uh, segment in the uh, main memory and uh, every logical address, what is logical address? Logical address is the address generated by CPU so the logical address consists of uh, uh, two tuples the first one being the segment number and the second one uh, being the offset and the segment table maps two dimensional physical addresses uh, into the entries which are base and limit so base contains the starting physical address where the segments reside in the memory and limit specifies the length of the segment and what is segment table base register or stbr it is used to point the segment tables location in memory and the use of segment uh, table length register which is stlr it is used to indicate number of segments used by a program and the segment number s is legal if it is having value less than the value pointed by stlr these are the three key properties of segmentation relocation sharing and allocation 
relocation is dynamic and uh, it is decided by segment table they can be shared segments and uh, these segments will have the same segment number and allocation can be done based on first fit best fit etc and they can be external fragmentation let's understand the concept of sharing of segments you can have the sharing of segments across many processes the benefit of this is that physical memory is allocated only once so just have a look at the given figure here there are two different processes process p1 and process p2 process p1 is having two segments segment 0 and segment 1 segment 0 of process p1 represents editor and uh, segment 0 of process p2 also represents the editor part but uh, segment 1 of both these uh, processes are different and they contain data 1 and data 2 so here you can see that there are two uh, different uh, segment tables corresponding to process p1 and p2 but since this editor part is common so the values of limit and base are common here and on the right side you can see that uh, while storing these different segments in physical memory the space is allocated only once for editor and not the twice here is an example of physical memory view using uh, segmentation there are five different segments which are named as sag 0 sag 1 sag 2 sag 3 and sag 4 and uh, in segment table there are two columns limit and base the limit represents the size of a given segment and the base just represents the starting uh, address from where the segment will uh, start uh, occupying memory so if we talk about segment 0 then it is having limit as 1500 which means that uh, its uh, size will be 1500 and base is uh, also 1500 so this simply signifies that it will start occupying a space in memory from location 1500 so on the right side uh, you can see that in main memory segment 0 has been uh, started allocating memory from 1500 and it goes till 3000 because the limit is having value 1500 so limit just represents the size and base just uh, represents the starting position from where our segment will start occupying a space and uh, if we talk about segment one then its uh, base is 6300 then it will start occupying a space uh, in memory from 6300 and its size is 500 so it will simply go up to 6800 because 6300 plus 500 it will be 6800 and likewise the memory has been allocated for rest of the segments we can use segmentation for the mapping of logical address into physical address so logical address is just an address generated by cpu the logical address is divided uh, into two parts which are segment number and segment uh, offset which is a step number one in this entire process and in a step number two for a given uh, segment number we need to locate the corresponding entry in segment table and in step 3 we compare segment offset with limit of the segment 
and there may arise two conditions if segment offset is greater than or uh, it is equal to the value of limit then it will be an invalid condition also called as trap and uh, if segment offset is less than limit then it is a valid request and in that case you can simply get physical address by adding segment offset with base and uh, uh, you can just summarize uh, this entire process that uh, the segment offset must always lie in the range of 0 to limit minus 1 for making it as a valid address and this is the pictorial representation of the concept that we just discussed uh, translating logical address to physical address here CPU is generating a logical address that is divided into a segment number and uh, offset and STBR will help us to navigate uh, to the segment table and uh, here we just uh, need to find out the limit the corresponding limit and uh, we need to check a condition whether offset is less than limit if this condition is not true then it will be uh, an invalid request for mapping from from logical to physical address and it will generate a trap but if the condition is true in that case we just need to sum offset with the value of uh, base to get the physical address and we will simply go uh, to the uh, physical memory to get the physical address let's take a numerical example here consider the following segment table uh, where segment number base and uh, uh, length of the segment are given and uh, you just have to find out that which of the following logical address will produce trap addressing error so uh, different logical addresses have been given in the uh, uh, pairs of two so these pairs are just representing the offset and the segment number the first part is the segment number and the second one is the offset so based on this data given you just have to find out that in which uh, case a trap will be generated and uh, in which case uh, we can convert logical address into a physical address and what will be the physical address if that conversion is possible so just have a pause at this point uh, of time and just try to figure out that uh, what should be the correct answer for this Here is the solution for the previous problem. So, uh, as we know that logical address is in the uh, form of the segment number and uh, offset. And uh, for valid conversion, it means if we can convert a logical address into a physical address, the condition offset should be less than the limit should uh, uh, hold true and if this condition holds true then we can get the physical address by just adding offset with base value so here in the uh, in the given segment table the length uh, represents the size of the segment which is also the value for limit so uh, the trap will occur only when offset is greater than or equal to the value of limit so in the given values the second term is obviously representing the offset so let's consider the 
the first option which is 0, 430. So 430 is the offset and corresponding limit is 700. 430 is less than the value of the limit. So this is a, a valid condition and you can get the physical address by just uh, summing 430 with 700. So if you just need to get physical address then you can just sum 430 with 12 uh, sorry 12 19 so it has to be added with uh, the offset needs to be added with base and in second case the offset is 11 and uh, the limit value is 14 so 11 is less than 14 so again it is a valid condition and you can get the value of physical address by adding corresponding offset with base so just have a look at the third option which is 2 comma 100 so 100 is the offset and uh, 100 is also the limit so this violates the condition of uh, of, of uh, uh, offset uh, should be less than limit so in this case trap will be generated and in the subsequent uh, two values of 425 and 95 so 425 is less than 580 so it is a valid condition and 95 is less than 96 so this also happens to be a valid condition so only in case of uh, 2 comma 100 a trap will get generated because 100 uh, the value of offset is less than it's just uh, equal to the value of length in this case. Divide the program in similar sized units. You can have the sizes of segments different based on the size of the uh, function or the component of the program. So with the help of segmentation we can have better visualization of your uh, code domain or the process domain into the memory domain. Segment table consumes less space as compared to page table uh, which is used in paging. So segment tables are more compact than page tables and the segmentation helps uh, solve the problem of internal fragmentation though external fragmentation uh, persists with the uh, segmentation and yes there are some disadvantages as well there is an overhead of maintaining a segment table for each process because if there are multiple processes then we need to have uh, di different segment tables corresponding to each process so that is obviously an overhead the time taken to fetch the instruction increases since now two memory accesses are required so this is again an overhead which increases the time segments of unequal size are not suited for swapping you cannot use them for swapping uh, which is the case uh, that can be done very efficiently with paging and segmentation suffers from external fragmentation although it uh, overcomes the problem of internal fragmentation first but yes it suffers from the problem of external fragmentation as the free space gets broken down into smaller pieces with the processes being loaded and removed from the main memory.